Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new review. Today, I'm pretty excited for these and that is the New Balance 327. So, this New Balance sneaker caught my eye in a pretty big way. When I first saw it, it was in that first colorway, which I, I don't know, I was just drawn to it, whether it was the shape or the color or just the sneaker itself. But that orange and blue colorway, I really like. I missed out on all of them. A couple days later, I managed to get this pair. Granted, it's a different colorway, but I'm still happy to be able to try out the sneaker model, see what I think. And here it is, the New Balance 327 in this multi-color. Yes. Granted, it is a bit of a Takashi colorway. It has pretty much every color you can possibly imagine on here. The shape of this sneaker is so sick. So the New Balance 327 retails at a pretty comfortable 80 pounds or $110 if you are in the US. Now this specific colorway released on May the 22nd, which was a New Balance website exclusive, but it is expected to release on multiple different retailers sometime in June. And this is the Pride colorway or the multi-color colorway. Uh, yes, it has a lot of colors on it which some people may like, a lot of people probably won't like just because it is a hard sneaker to rock if there is so many different colors on it. However, I think this is done pretty well. Now, New Balance said that this was created for all day comfort, so I put that to the test. On feet, these feel pretty good. I don't think you need to change anything in terms of your size on this. I will definitely say that they do fit true to size. And it kind of reminds me of the Nike Flyknit Racer. Just generally the shape, not necessarily the rest of it. Very narrow shape. I think it does hold quite a few similarities to that sneaker. It just looks good when you're wearing it. I think it's a really nice shape. And of course, if this colorway isn't for you, there is plenty of other colorways out there. And I definitely expect New Balance to pump out more and more of these colorways. A lot of the colorways come in this kind of split tone, and that's generally the colorway of the different kinds of sneakers. So what I was saying about that blue and orange colorway, on one side, specifically the lateral side, it is solid blue color. And as you flip it over to the medial, it is that orange color that you find, solid orange. I think that looks fantastic. You can't really tell on this because they kept the white upper uh, for both sides, but you can kind of see on the back, you do have a split of like yellow and orange. And on the front, you'll see the split of the blue and the black. So in terms of the materials, the base layer or the all over white color that you see on this sneaker is this kind of mesh material, which is pretty breathable and keeps its structure, which I think is a really important thing. You don't want to lose that structure for too much breathability and it just kind of flops down this does spring back. And then the color starts coming through with all of these different suede overlays. It's a very nice feeling suede, so very, very soft. Um, I really like the feel of this suede, actually. Obviously, this being the Pride colorway, it's gonna have a lot of colors on it, 
but I think it looks pretty cool. The fact that it's done on a base layer of white, obviously I think looks pretty good. Moving down to the outsole of this sneaker, you do have this very exaggerated traction pattern. So the 327 in general is kind of taken off of retro New Balance sneakers and they kind of put this modern spin on it. My expectations definitely hold true. I think the silhouette itself is fantastic. If you can get this in the right colorway, then I think you've got a winning shoe on your hands. I think New Balance is doing some really cool things, especially recently, where they're releasing some really, really nice sneakers. So if you have any recommendations, what New Balance sneakers should I try out? I'm excited to try out some more New Balance. I think they're comfortable, they're relatively affordable, and they're made very well. But that is pretty much it for the video. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Let me know what you think about these, and I will see you in the next one. Until then.